Today on Craving Food Adventures, we're making a culinary favorite from coastal Goa, where I'm from. Hi everyone, I'm Karen Ahmed, and on today's Craving Food Adventure, we're making chicken kafrial. This popular recipe is made by blending together coriander with chilies and spices, together with tamarind and coconut vinegar. Chicken is marinated in this delicious green mixture overnight and then cooked to perfection. This recipe is very similar to other Indian preparations like hara chicken, but it's really unique in its blend of spices. Mom, I told you to turn off the phone. It's from India. Maggie? Looks like an auntie to me. Auntie Maggie? It's connected. You can hear me? Karen? Karen? And Maggie here. I want you to see who the other woman in my Silu's life is. Other woman? What? You! You and Silu! You've taken away my one secret weapon. How do I do that? Ever since Silu found you and your food channel cravings, he's hooked to it. Hooked and booked. I can't get a word in. Old age Karen is and Karen Dad. Come here, see what Karen is making, Maggie. I saw the food looks mouth watering. But then I saw you also quite a looker. I can see what he's so taken up with. Did it wrong? Auntie Maggie. You have your followers and I have mine. Followers? Followers? Then tell him only to follow the recipes, no? Why he's telling me to follow what you're making there? What are you making today? Chicken kafrial. Chicken kafrial. Ah, make, make. Let's see what all the fuss is about. I'm going to try it. Now what? I'm just texting the recipe to Auntie Maggie. Sorry for the interruption, folks. Let's get on with the recipe. I'm going to start by roasting some whole spices. I've got one teaspoon of cumin seeds, one teaspoon of black peppercorns, together with one teaspoon of cloves. I've also got about one inch of cinnamon, as well as two teaspoons of couscous. Now, couscous are white poppy seeds. I'm going to heat these up just so they release their aroma, and then I'm going to put it into my spice grinder and grind it. In a food processor, I'm going to process some of my other ingredients. I'm first going to add a quarter cup of vinegar. Now, I'm using coconut vinegar. This vinegar is a lot more subtle than regular vinegar that we use in something like a vindalu, for example. But if you want to substitute that, that's totally fine. I've also pre-chopped some chilies. I've got four chilies. And I'm going to chop this up coarsely together with about a one-inch stick of ginger and eight cloves. Now I'm chopping these up so that they're going to be easy to process. I'm going to put these into my food processor and process them. Next for the star of the show, coriander. I've pre-washed my coriander and I've got about four cups of coriander. I've roughly chopped them and I'm going to add some of this into my food processor together with all of the ground spices and one teaspoon of haldi or turmeric. I'm going to process this and I'm also going to add a little bit of water. Now water is going to help this blend to a smooth paste. I'm going to add the second half of the coriander together with some salt and I'm going to add some tamarind paste. Now I've taken some tamarind and I've soaked it in about a quarter cup of warm water. If there's any seeds in your tamarind, take these out. And I'm going to add it in and I'm going to process this till it's a luscious, smooth green paste. Some people like to use a little bit of feni in their masala. If you would like to do that, you can add this right now. Next, I'm going to work on the chicken. I am using chicken drumsticks. This is not only my chicken part of choice, it is also very traditional to use chicken drumsticks. But you can use any parts of the chicken that you like. Just bear in mind that the thighs and the legs are the most succulent. I'm going 
going to make sure to take the skin off the chicken as well as I'm going to make gashes in the legs. Now this is going to help the marinade seep right through to the bone. I'm going to slather my chicken drumsticks in this delicious green marinade and I'm going to give it a really good mix making sure to get my marinade right into those slits. I'm going to cover it with some cling film and leave it in my refrigerator. Now this needs to marinate for at least four hours. I prefer to leave it in my fridge overnight. I'm now ready to fry my chicken. I've got a large frying pan with some oil heated in it and I'm going to saute my chicken on all sides just to give it some color. Then I'm going to transfer it to a baking tray and I'm going to stick it in my oven and let it cook for 30 minutes. Now traditionally they would just fry it but I find that when you fry the chicken for too long the masala gets really dark. I'm trying to preserve that green color but also cooking it in the oven ensures that my chicken is cooked all the way through. If you think your cafe al is getting too dry make sure to cover it with some foil and when you're ready to serve it Serve it with some potato and lemon wedges. Oh my God. Hi, Auntie Maggie. Karen? You there? I tried the Capriol. I'll give it a nine on 10. I cut one point because Silu is still wants to sit and watch more cravings and not come Christmas shopping with me. Ah. Bye. Bye. That Auntie Maggie is some piece of work. If you want to follow her misadventures, click right here to subscribe to her channel. And if you want to find out what she did before and after she called me, there's a link right here as well. Thank you so much for joining me on Craving Food Adventures. Don't forget, I upload new videos every Friday, so make sure you're subscribed to be the first to see them. Until I see you again, do take care. Bye.